Hi guys, Mike here bringing you a City Skylines tutorial. Today we are going to build a turbine intersection. It looks like a roundabout, but it's not. And the theory behind it is to create a junction that you can go in any direction, merging smoothly and without the need to stop and give way. No roundabouts and no lights. There is also some variations and hybrids of the turbine interchange design. The one that caught my attention is the one of multiple turbines in Dubai. The turbine design started in my homeland of England, but it was the one in Dubai that actually caught my attention and inspired me to build this. I'm going to show you the basic idea, then I'll leave it up to you to improve and expand on what I show you here today. Ok before you can build the turbine interchange you must be able to understand it. So if we take a look you can see coming in from the bottom of the screen you can either go right following the blue dots or left following the red dots. If you want to go back the way you came you can take the little switch lane ramp at the top right there you can follow the yellow dot back the way you came from. Now if you decide you wanted to go to the right all along you can take the second switch lane at the top to follow the purple dots off to the right and you can keep taking those switch lanes to do a full 360. Ok so the first thing you're going to want to do is level out a large area. You really don't want to be attempting this on an uneven surface. Then when you're ready use the snap option and turn on snap to angle, length and guidelines. Now using your highway network drag out a ground level straight length of highway in the centre of the area you have levelled out for the development. This is important be sure to leave sufficient space between the directions of the highway so that the overpasses are easily built over the top a little later on. Now using a simple dirt road and the snap to angle feature, go to the center of the highway and draw out a short road either side, leaving the highway at a 45 degree angle. This is going to be used for guidance when we bring across our overpasses. Ok using the road guidelines and the angle lay out two small sections of ground level highway parallel and either side of the dirt track. You can now use these to guide your overpasses. When you start an overpass only elevate as much as needed to clear the road below. You don't want a huge sky road with steep or long ramps. I normally be sure to just clear the top of the lamp posts on the road below. Only use as much elevated road as needed just enough to cross the highway using the snap to angle length and guidelines to keep everything in line. At this stage you can bulldoze the dirt track and highways either side as they were solely for guidance. It's time to build your ramps on and off the bridges. You can make the ramp steep by bringing the end point in close or long and smooth by dragging it out. Now continue the highway out keeping everything in a straight line taking advantage of the snap to angle ability. Finally for this section you just need to go round and make sure all of your roads have the right directions on them. Ok you should be looking at something like this, all parallel, square and in line. Next we are going to place some more marker roads to help us visualise and stay true to where we want everything to line up in the end. I am placing two separate ground level on ramps either side of the highway remembering to leave ample space between them for when we want to get our overpasses in.
Now go ahead and join these lanes up in the corners like so. I extended mine a little to make a snugger, tighter bend, leaving me more space for the overpasses to come through. Now at this stage we need to lay out some more overpasses. You can use the snap to road guidelines angle and length to help you. So the first overpass is going to start right between the two highway lanes just after the bridge ramps here. Curve the road around and then bring it into a decline once it has cleared the bridge to get it down to ground level so we can marry up to the on ramps we have down there. I am going to bulldoze these and extend this main route down for a gentle merge onto the adjacent road. Now join the small single lane on ramp onto the main route where they are both on the ground, saving the need for another elevation. Then it's time to repeat this on the opposite side, once again using the snap to length and guidelines ability. When you come to do the perpendicular bridges, be sure to take advantage of the snap to grid and count how many cells out the first two bridges are so that you can position the first pieces out to the right distance. Now you should be looking at something like this, so let's move on to the outer ring overpass. Let's begin where we started before and move out further just a little bit because we don't need a huge gap between the roads here as there is no more levels of overpass. It's probably best to keep these elevated sections as close together as possible and to the same height until they cross. The tricky part here will be getting the bridge over the lower section whilst keeping it smooth and tight at the same time. This will now join up to this bridge here. You may like me decide you want to remodel and shape the earlier sections as you go for a perfect finish. So that's one corner finished. You should be looking at something like this. Now let's go around and repeat this in the other three corners. So there you go, that's all the main overpasses complete, but here is your chance to do any final movements to your curves and positions if you're still not happy with the shape. Now all that's left is to join the on ramps to the turbine, implement the switch lanes and connect the highway to the rest of your highway network.
When you bring your highway in to join, reserve a little space for the switch lane to join on before it reaches the turbine. Now repeat this on the remaining corners and don't forget to take advantage of the snap to grid option so you can count cells to aid your positioning. When you're done you should be looking at something very similar to this. Now it's time to add those last elevations for the switch lane where we are going to bridge between the main routes in this little space right here. Finally, go around and check all the lanes are going to the right direction and join everything up to your main highways and intersections around your city. When you're done you should be looking at something very similar to this. Now you know how to build a highway turbine intersection. I urge you to expand on this idea and check out other ways the turbine method has been used around the world to inspire your city skylines developments. You will find some amazing turbines already built in city skylines and some small unique ones built around the world. Like I mentioned before, Dubai has multiple turbine interchanges and there are many other styles to look out for. I hope you found this video helpful and be sure to post links to your turbine videos in the description below and I'll be sure to check them out. That's it from me, until next time guys, happy building.